Hey guys, welcome back. We have a brand new product by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a magic serum crystal elixir. That is a long title. <laughs> We're gonna see if this $80 serum is worth it on mature skin. If it's that magical, check it out. you guys, let's get started. So I wanted to kind of launch into another new foundation, but I wanted to pair it with Charlotte Tilbury's new Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. This is a hefty price tag right there. This is $80, you guys. I don't know if it's worth it. We're gonna find out. I did apply my full makeup, so you're gonna see in just a second. I wanted to kind of round out my top four foundations with this Charlotte Tilbury one, because it gets a lot of good feedback. I really wasn't sure how I was gonna like it. You're gonna see as I apply it, but you'll find you'll get my final verdict at the end of the video. But I wanted to pair it with the Magic Serum because this just launched and I was so excited for my girls out there that are like me with mature skin over 40. We're looking for anything to make our skin look more youthful and vibrant. And I thought, hey, if I can use this as a serum and a primer, I'm in. I know it's $80 and I always feel like if it's a product that's worth it, if it's gonna really like make my skin look better and younger, I'll spend the $80. But if it's not worth it, I'm gonna tell you not to spend your money on it. So you'll find out at the end of the video, but let's go over the ingredients and just the description of the product. So we'll roll over into the website. It's $80, it has about four stars, so it's got good reviews. It's a vitamin C and polyglutamic I don't know if I said that right. Acid anti-aging serum that reduces appearance of dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles. It visibly brightens and plumps skin for flawless makeup application. It is for normal dry combination and oily skin. It helps with dark spots, pores, and loss of firmness and elasticity. So for my mature girls out there, I mean, this is everything we're looking for in a product, right? We want anything that's gonna diminish lines, that's gonna help, you know, erase our pores, and just everything above that, right? We just want our skin to look younger and better and brighter. So this is, to me, everything I'm looking for. And if I don't have to invest in a primer and a serum, I get it all in one. It doesn't make $80 look so hefty, if you know what I mean. Because otherwise you're spending money on a serum, you're spending like $40 on a serum, $40 on a primer for good ones. And then combined, that's $80. So I can justify it in that respect. I'll put all the ingredients right there, the highlighted ingredients. It's the golden vitamin C that's in there. It's polyglutamic acid, which is four times more hydrated than hyaluronic acid. So that really stood out to me when I looked at the ingredients online. It acts as a plumper for a plumper looking skin filter to reduce the appearance of fine lines. And then it has niacinamide. Niacinamide is really good at like smoothing your skin. It minimizes the appearance of pores and improves visible skin texture and tone. And then those are the ingredient callouts where as far as it's free of sulfates, SLS, you guys can just read the rest of that. I really do feel like this is everything we're looking for when we have skin over 40, over 30. I mean, girls are starting to see fine lines in their 30s as well. So I wanna say anyone over 30 is really gonna benefit from a product like this, a serum that can basically do it all. So basically it's saying it's stronger than hyaluronic acid. And we all know hyaluronic acid is in every product these days. It does plump up the skin. It does give that skin the hydration that it needs. But if this can do four times that, then hey, sign me up for $80. I'll take it. So you're gonna see how this applies and we're gonna just test it out and see how it wears throughout the day. All right, you guys, let's get started. So Charlotte Tilbury came out with the Magic Serum. This just launched, I want to say like four or five weeks ago, depending on when I release this video. But this serum is supposed to be like a miracle for mature skin. And I was like, sign me up. Hello, 42. I'll take some Magic Serum. <laughs> so I'm so excited to give this a try. When she came out with the Magic Serum, I know she has like the moisturizer. I kind of always been the Magic Cream, I think it's called. I've always been kind of hesitant on buying it, but I am tempted to get the, I think it comes like in a mini size, which is still kind of pricey. But her products are worth it. She just has amazing products. So you do get what you pay for, you know? And sometimes, like I say in all my videos, it really is something you have to think about as we get older because we can't just rely on 
affordable products or drugstore products a lot of the times. Yes, they do put out some pretty great products, but nothing really compares to some of these higher end brands that just really do kind of perform miracles on your face. So I try to stay looking youthful with using products I know are going to work on my skin and make me feel beautiful from the inside and out. But let's get started because I'm talking too much. So we're gonna try the serum first and I'm going to use this as a primer. So basically it does state on the website, as I said in the intro, that you can use this as a primer. So we're going to use that as a primer today. I only have my Drunk Elephant uh, Alpha B serum, B Hydro serum. I put a dip with that on, even though this is a serum, but I think this is going to work more like a primer. So hopefully, hopefully it works. I have again, never tried this foundation. So I am so excited. This is going to be kind of part of my, it was my March madness. You can check out my other foundation reviews. I was picking my top four and this was my fourth one I was going to review. So I thought it'd be a good one to mix in since they just launched the serum. All right, and I can't wait to get my hands on the Airbrush Flawless bronzers now. So I noticed that Sephora didn't have it on their website, so I think I have to order it from Charlotte Tilbury's website. I was waiting for Sephora to carry it because then I can get more points for using my Sephora Visa card. So I thought, you know what, I'll just kind of wait for that. But for now, let's just try out this magic serum. Let's see if it's really magical. <laughs> hey, anything to keep us looking younger, right? I hope everyone's doing well during quarantine. I know it's been a long last couple months for a lot of us. And I know some of the states are really getting back to normal, but here in California, we're still pretty on the you know quarantine side of things. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. It does have a slight like, uh, kind of I wanna say like a floral scent to it. So let's see if it reacts to my skin. I'm a little nervous. I'm just gonna put it on like I would a normal like primer and see if that works. I know she has her primer too. I think that one slightly made me break out, so I don't wanna use it again. I had like a little sample. I wanna say it's like her magic something primer, but I can't remember. I'll put it right there. And you know, if you don't have sensitive skin, it was an amazing primer. I was like, wow, my skin feels so soft, but I wanna say that helped that kind of broke me out, but I have super sensitive skin. So just be aware of that stuff when you guys are trying out products. It's trial and error, because not all products with scents affect my skin, but most of them do. I wanna say with this particular foundation, it is a thicker consistency, but I'm not sure. I kinda of just tested it in store one time. I didn't really test it on. Yeah, it is like more of a thicker consistency, and this I think is going to be way too light for me. Oh goodness gracious, we are gonna to have to mix. Uh, you know what, we're just gonna to have to go with it because I wanna see how the foundation lies. That's okay, we'll go with it. Oh, you know what, we'll put some of my Armani Mastro. And again, this is not a foundation, this is just gonna darken up the color a little bit. I did this in my L'Oreal video. If you didn't check that one out, I did the new L'Oreal uh, serum foundation. So that was a drugstore review product. So be sure to check that one out. Uh, I did get a tan because I've been running outside because I can't go to the gym. So my skin is a little bit more tanned than usual. So my foundations are not matching right now. Plus with a little bit of self tanner too, let's be honest. But see how that darkened that up a lot? And then I'm just gonna kind of put it on my skin, the leftover that I was mixing it on my finger and then take the rest of my beauty blender. We'll just kind of do both. So this one has a, a teeny bit of a scent, but not too, not too strong. So it shouldn't be too bad. Let me wipe my finger off. All right, we're gonna take my beauty blender. We'll do my nude beauty blender, and then we'll just take that in the back of my hand, and then we'll just kind of go to town. So this foundation is nice, actually. It feels like it's going on nice and even, which I like. Cover up these my skin was doing so, so good the last couple months. I like hardly had anything. And as soon as I started using makeup again, it's like, hello, hello pores. <laughs> I can't believe how much it cleared up. It was insane. I was like, oh my gosh, that's what's killing me is the makeup. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna continue wearing it. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Deal with it and try to treat it as best as I can. 
trying to get in as many videos as I can because I want to get back to filming and there's so much makeup that I need to review. There's so many great products out right now and I'm so excited. I'm just like so excited to get back into the groove and talk to you guys and see how everyone's doing and show you new makeup. See what's worth it to buy right now. I know it's a little tough with you know everything going on right now and I know that a lot of people can't afford to go out and buy new makeup so don't think that I'm saying oh my gosh you need this product go out and buy it today I'm just saying when things get back to normal or if you are not affected by this financially you know there's some really awesome products and if you love makeup as much as I do I just want to be able to review these products and tell you what's worth it and what's not worth it what not to waste your money on <laughs> like your guinea pig <laughs> Oh boy, so this is way too light for me, but that's okay. I'm going to make do with it. See how much it's really, oh my gosh. Yeah, that Maestro wasn't dark enough for it to, the Armani stuff to, this is just way, way, way too light. Whoa. I don't know you guys. I mean, I like the serum underneath, but I don't know. I don't know if I love the foundation. I'll have to kind of like play with this one and kind of see. I'll give you updates. I'm not going to be able to do a wear test on this one today. So I'll give you an update. I don't know if it's that magical to me, to be quite honest, the serum, but I want to keep giving it a try. Cause sometimes you just got to keep wearing it to really see what you like and don't like. I have been really loving the Tatcha one, the new Tatcha one. So I'll talk about that in my Sephora haul, but I have been really, really liking that one a lot, that primer. And I like the YSL one. I, My cousin, hey Shannon, she got me started on that one and I really, really like it. So that's another primer. It's become one of my faves. I feel like this foundation is a little cakey and I feel like it's kind of like accentuating my pores even more. So, you know, I'm a big fan of Charlotte Tilbury. I really am, but I don't know about this foundation. I like the serum. I just don't know about the foundation. Obviously, it's not the right color, so that's probably not helping. <laughs> but, yeah, even if it was the right color, I don't know if I like the consistency as much as I like. I don't hate it. Let's get that straight. I just don't know if I love it. I don't love it as much as like my Armani or my Christian Dior or even the Smashbox one I've been using a lot. And the Makeup Forever Reboot, I have been loving that one as well. And see, that one has a slight scent to it too, and that does not affect my skin as much. So that's a good thing. We'll see. This one feels like it's going to clog my pores, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. All right, I'm going to use the, boo, what's it called? The Derma Blend, the 24 hour cover care. I have been loving this concealer. Check out the video. I just reviewed this product. I just want to see how everything kind of lies on top of this foundation and serum. Mainly this serum is really what I wanted to review. This is 30 N. This is more of like a peachy color, um, a nice brightening color. I love this concealer, you guys. This is kind of replacing my shape tape, to be honest, and I thought I'd never say that. So in that video, I showed a quick trick, and because you know we're really focusing on mature skin in this video, I'm gonna show you, this is a good way to lift that eye area by kind of putting it there. And then I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this hourglass brush and kind of just place that in there. This is another good brush to use for concealer too. I think it goes really good underneath the eye and I love it for my hourglass stick. That's what I really like to use it for. But I also really, really, I think because it was made for the hourglass stick foundation, which kind of gives you like a concealer type consistency, I think this brush works just as good as my milk brush. And I know the milk one isn't available anymore, which is so frustrating because I always want to like tell you guys how amazing it is. And I'm like, I feel so bad because it's not available anymore and everybody wants to know where can I get one exactly like it. So I'm testing out new brushes to see which one is going to work comparable to that one. But yeah, I'm liking it, you guys. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is actually, 
Oh my gosh, I almost like it almost better than the milk one. It's the first time I'm trying it out with concealer and I actually really like that. So I do like applying my concealer better with a brush. I was trying to switch back to the Beauty Blender to see if I would like it and I don't know, I just still like it with the, see how like flawless that looks with the brush? I feel like I would have been able to cover that area and I wouldn't have had to go back in the second time had I just gone with the brush and not done the Beauty Blender. And then I'm just gonna take the rest and kind of just put it on my lid space area. Let's set the rest of my face with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And we are going to take my Le Mer brush. I still found this powder brush. I know it's pricey, but when you can get it on sale or with the VIB sale or any kind of sales coming up, Use it towards this, use your 20 or 15, whatever you are status wise with Sephora, or sometimes even like, you know, Nordstrom's may have a sale, you never know, or Nordstrom Notes. Use it towards this, and this is gonna last you forever. This brush is absolutely amazing. I love this brush, it is so, so good. It just is a good combination with this Charlotte Tilbury powder. I think it's so pretty. Oh, I love this. I love it, I love it. So actually the foundation is starting to grow on me a bit. Let me dust off that powder. I think right now just my skin is a little reactive just cause it was like, hello, you went from no makeup to makeup, girl, what's going on? <laughs> so I think it's, it's being a little, a little aggressive right now with the pores. So I think if I had a more clear, la, 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 la. if I had a more clear complexion, I would like it even more cause I would feel like it's not gonna accentuate the pores. It is a little bit more on the cakier side, but not as like cakey as like my Laura Mercier, which is a really thick, good coverage foundation. I absolutely love it for full coverage, but it can be a bit cakey. And this one is not as cakey, but I can tell it's already setting into like my laugh lines. I am gonna try out this Kosas bronzer, okay? Cause this is like a hot topic on YouTube right now. This is medium. I think it comes in like three different colors. I'll put the price point right there. It is like a baked bronzer. This one I did play with a little bit. So the one thing that you have to do, I'm gonna use my Heavenly uh, Lux number no. seven It Cosmetics brush. I find this one to be really good with cream products. This is not a cream product, but it almost goes on like a cream product. And a little goes a long way. So if you really go in aggressively, it's gonna go all over the place. So don't do that, go in kind of, gentle with it and then you're going to kind of want to go on the back of your hand and just kind of take off any excess and then go in with your bronzer and what i like to do is just kind of work work it from upper all the way down the cheekbone like that and then doing the same thing so you can just build it that's the good part about this product and it lies over powders really good so it's not like it's crazy, see how pretty that is? That just gives a nice natural glow. And now if you're not really into bronzers, this is the best way to go. You know, and it just really depends. I've got different bronzers we're trying out here. I've got the new Tom Ford one. I've got the new Chanel one. So look forward to those videos. I'm really, really excited. This is the original Chanel. Uh, this was the Soleil Tan de Chanel and I mean, this is gonna last forever. This is this is the old formula. So they have a, they rebranded it, repackaged it, renamed it. I'm gonna do the comparison to see if I like the new one. So I'm really excited to do that and compare it to the new Tom Ford one. So check out that video. It's coming up soon. But this one I like. This is a very pretty like every day. I just want to go to the grocery store. I just want to go to the beach. You can actually get away with just literally putting on like a serum or you know just even like a nice uh primer like the um uh, this one i'm just i'm gonna review it soon this is the super goop glow screen very beautiful primer that you can pretty much wear on its own if you have flawless skin i can't but you can if you want it to if you have flawless skin you can do it uh but that would be beautiful with just the kosas bronzer now this gets mixed reviews a lot of people say they love it and there's a lot of people that don't like it at all. So very, very mixed reviews. I personally hated it when I first put it on. I was like, ooh, I'm returning this, this is awful. Then I started playing with it more and more and just kind of like building it slowly. And then I was like, oh, 
okay, I like this. And I like that it's clean and it's no scent. Yeah, no, it just has like a chalky scent to it, but there's no like floral scent to it or perfume scent to it. So I like that. I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Obviously when you do this, it kind of like slims out your jawline. And I'm gonna go back through it. And this is where I'm gonna kind of start blending that foundation into my skin. Because remember it was kind of like you saw it, the uh, transition between that lighter foundation and my normal skin color. So we're gonna try to blend it as much as we can. And this is a good way to do it. Then I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead of what's left over on the brush. Maybe dip in one more time. So just be gentle. And I think that's the problem that a lot of people were having is that they were kind of going in aggressive and then it kind of was like, ooh, what was that? So just be mindful of that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here on my forehead. Now remember when you put bronzer on your forehead, it's narrowing your forehead. I don't have a large forehead, but I still like to do it. You know, you don't, it's not only if you have a big forehead that you have to do that, but I just like it. I just feel like it ties in everything. I am actually gonna try out the Honest Beauty Cream Blush. Actually, you know what? Let me finish the rest of like my eyes, eyebrows, eyeshadow and all that stuff. And then I'll come back and we'll put the blush on after. All right, you guys, so I'm back and I did the rest of my makeup off camera except for the blush and the highlighter because I'm trying out two new products. I actually was having some issues with my makeup today because I was trying out this new Velour Lash eyelash glue that is supposed to be like an eyeliner and glue in one. This is a tricky, tricky, tricky product and I don't know that I would recommend it. I will let you know in my Sephora VIB haul hits and miss video that I'm filming after this video and I will let you know what my thoughts are all together on it. But yeah, I, I was struggling with that product. So I was having some issues there. So let's try out this Honest Beauty blush. Like I said, I wanted to kind of, I don't, I'm not really into cream products, but I really, really want to try this out. I just hear such rave reviews on it and I hear that you can put it over powder. Let's hope that this goes well because otherwise it's gonna be a complete catastrophe. You know what, let's do the Tati blender because she actually did this on her video with this blush and I have to wash it anyway. So let's flip the ribbon around and let's use the end corner of this and let's try doing it with the, with the um, beautiful, Blendiful, sorry, I almost called it beautiful with the Blendiful. I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. With cream products, I always recommend doing this because you don't know how much pigmentation you're gonna get. All right, so I'm gonna try this side and just again, just kind of slightly smile and just put it on the cheekbone area like that. I'm going very light-handed because again, I just don't know what to expect with this. Yeah, I like it, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's like a nice natural glow. There's no smell or harsh chemicals to it. It's a very, very, very clean product. If you are into uh, more like powdered blushes and contours and bronzing powders, I would go with more forgivable products like this. I know Fenty has a new one. I will be trying that out in a separate video. But I'm kind of just testing out cream products because I really do understand that for mature skin cream products tend to be more of your best friend because it doesn't leave the skin so powdery it won't set into the lines as much so you know I, I mean I always I guess assumed in my 20s that cream products were always made for more mature skin and now I'm hitting that mature skin time frame but I can't let go of my powdered products so I think it's just trying to find products that you can't mess up on because cream products can go really wrong in so many different ways if you're not careful. These dual fiber type brushes are always good for cream products whenever you use cream products. This one's kind of big, but I think that will be good because I want to place it on the cheek area. I'm not trying to do a contour with it. I'm just trying to place it. So I just want to see the difference between using it with like the Tati Blendiful, the sponge. I, I really wasn't I was a little scared with that. So I'm just gonna try putting it on these dual fiber type brushes, which is a good thing. Again, putting it on the back. See, look at how much, if I would have went directly on my skin, that's how much would I would have looked like a clown. So you have to really like kind of 
go slow, go slow, go gradual with these products. I like a lot of blush. I think it makes your skin look more youthful and more rosy and more alive. So I'm a big blush fan. And then I'm just gonna kinda, I'll go this way and just kinda stick to, oh, I like this blush. Oh, okay, okay. That's a good blush. I think this is a beautiful color for any skin tone. I think it makes the face kind of come alive. <gasps> you guys, hello, Honest Beauty. I, I don't use too many of her products. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really into like a lot of clean products, which I should be. So that's why I wanted to try out the Kosas in this one, the bronzer, and then this one uh, by Honest Beauty. And I wanted to see what the affordable one was gonna be compared to the new Fenty one, which will be again in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. I heard that's a very buildable, forgivable blush as well, cream blush as well. So this is $11.99, I'll link it below on Amazon. This is the only place I found it was on Amazon, probably honestbeauty.com. And then the Fenty one, I wanna say is around $22. So half the price and a very clean, clean product. So wow, I'll let you guys know, I'll comment below, I'll pin my comment and let you know how it wore. But wow, I am loving that color. This is peony, I wanna say. Uh, yeah, peony pink, which is such a beautiful, I should have showed you that color. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Yeah, I really, really like this. Wow, that is pretty. Okay, this is a huge yes for mature skin. I think that is gorgeous. Okay, now I wanna try the new, well, it's not new. Actually, it came out a while ago and then they didn't have it for a long time and then they brought it back. And this was a really popular hourglass highlighter. This is their metallic highlighters. Here, let me show it to you guys. This is a gorgeous palette. This one is quite pricey though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's not an inexpensive, uh, highlighter, but this is gonna last you forever. An hourglass, if you have mature texturized skin in any way, you want to stick to highlighters like Hourglass or Becca Cosmetics has good ones too that are a little bit less, uh, they don't set into the pores and they don't accentuate the pores, I should say, or set into the lines. I feel like they lie on the skin very beautiful and you can build this one. You can make it very natural or you can make it, you know, a little bit more like va va vu, I'm here, which you guys know I like my highlighter to say, hello, I've entered the room. <laughs> I want it to stand out. I mean, that's the whole point for me. So I'm gonna go with the, my Sigma brush. You, this is my typical uh, tapered highlighter F35 brush. I'll link this one below. And I'm just gonna go through all three like that. Then I'm gonna kind of dust it off a little, make sure there's no excess. And then we're just gonna hit the high cheekbone area right here. See how beautiful that is? And it didn't like, like accentuate any pores or textures in that area. And I do have some going on there, so. I really, really think this is a beautiful, and this is actually more of like a, hello, I'm here. You can go with more like luminous light, like their other palettes that are just a little bit less intense. This is like, I want intense highlighter, but I don't want it to accentuate my texture. This is like a Becca type highlighter, but wow, that is gorgeous. Look at that, whoo, that is hello, I'm here to play and I'm not going anywhere. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is. Wow, this is the first time I'm trying the metallic ones. Oh my goodness, I already did my lipstick so I can't really go over the Cupid's bow. Wow, that's really pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys, what? What is going on here? I am striking gold with those two. I was a little scared because I was like, I like to do my blush on the top now like the top of my nose a little, like make it a little bit rosier. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Everything turned out. I ended up using some other new products I'll go over in my next video. But yeah, all together, the whole point of this video was to really try out this Magic Serum by Charlotte Tilbury. I know this is a hot new one and really geared towards mature skin. I am not 
my final verdict is I'm not in love with the product, but I do really like it. Would I repurchase this product? As of right now, probably not, to be quite honest, because it is a hefty price tag. 83, I'll put the price down right there, 80, $80 range is just outrageous to me. And I, unless it like literally blows my mind and it makes my skin like magically look younger, I am not gonna endorse an 80 something dollar product, okay? If it's a product that I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't live without this product, it is so amazing, I'll spend the extra money on it because I know it's gonna last a long time with most makeup products. But with this one, as of right now, I'm not blown away by it. I can't justify that price tag as of right now. You know from my other videos, I can justify this $45 airbrush flawless powder. I think this is, nobody puts out a microfined powder like Charlotte Tilbury. Nobody on the market I think can even compare to this product. So I will spend $45 on this. Would I buy the foundation again? I don't think I would to be quite honest. So I just think there's other amazing foundations out there that I don't feel like with that price point, I would feel like I'm getting my money's worth. So these two, I don't know. I mean, I'll use this up, I'll continue using it. Maybe it's one of those products that I'll just start seeing the benefits because there obviously is skincare benefits in there. Maybe it will change my mind because I did get that on sale and I did use points towards it. So I'm gonna keep using that. And again, maybe it's gonna just change my mind. But as of right now, I have to say that was a no for me as far as repurchasing again. Uh, the Kosas, I am loving this more and more every time I put it on. I love it more and more. So huge fan of that. Huge fan of this metallic highlighter. I cannot believe how beautiful that highlighter is. So I bought the Christian Dior one on points again, and I have been wanting this one because everyone talks about how amazing this highlighter is. And now I'm kind of stuck with it because I use majority of my points on this and I can't get my points back with the Sephora Visa card. So I wouldn't, repurchase this again I don't think it's that amazing I think it's great but I think I don't think it's like blowing my mind I still am in love with my Jouer molten gold which is a limited edition so I have to kind of find an alternative at some point and I'm loving this one so I think these two are more worth it to me so as far as new products go I love the honest beauty oh my goodness that is an amazing cream blush it has changed my mind towards cream blushes because I wasn't a fan of cream blushes in the past. So loving this. I am excited to try the Fenty Beauty one, so we'll see how that works out. But all in all, those are my final thoughts. I really wanted to concentrate on women of mature skin, but for all ages, all these products can be used on any age group. So keep that in mind. Let me know, comment below if there's any other products you wanna see, you want me to review. And thank you again for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video and I'll see you in the next. Thanks guys, bye. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby.